I really, uh, no, I really appreciate y'all support for real. For real. We got four people watching right now. Thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate y'all. Like y'all the homies, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all the y'all there. Y'all are here before we blow up, bro. Y'all are here before we blow up. Cause, cause. Now watch this. Now I'm speaking all this like you know I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna get you know a bunch of subscribers and you know be very successful and hopefully financially uh, independent and stuff like that and nice and you know secure. But okay. A lot of people might be like, well, how do you even know this? Like, how do you even know? I mean, it, it could, it could work, it could not. The thing is, is that other people, respectfully, who don't want to, didn't really think about doing this full time, are doing it full time. People who really don't really know how anything about like streaming have been successful. So what if somebody who has the mentality for it to happen, has the patience for it to happen, is putting the work behind making it happen and has God on his side. I'm like, there's like, I'm, bro, I'm like stacked right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna make this junk happen, bro. This is gonna be awesome, man. And I keep saying this and then, you know, these moments are gonna be like clipped in like four years. Like, you know, he believed in himself this long and you, I mean, yeah, that's true. But it's mainly like, the whole point of this is like, imagine like a, um, a farmer who buys acres and acres and acres and acres of land and starts going at the soil, planting the seeds and just going. Anyone who drives by and looks at, you know, all this barren land with all the seeds in it, like, uh, tax. Yeah, what's up, man? I'm just planting the seeds. Um, there's nothing here, bro. You've been putting in all this work, you saying. You've been doing all this stuff. But I don't see nothing. N n nothing's here. And the thing is, I'm like, no, you don't have the you you don't have the right mindset. I'm planting these seeds because they're going to blow up. They're going to grow. They're going to it's go like that's that's just a natural thing that happens. Put in the work and it will happen. Like that's that's naturally what happens. So, and with that mindset, like, oh yeah, if I know that this is gonna grow, I would I don't mind having four people watching me right now. You know, say like. And I'm not negating that. I'm not negating having four people. Not at all. I'm not saying, oh, I'm, uh, I have four, but I wish. Like, no, I love you guys. Definitely. But there's nothing wrong with trying to grow or trying to have a larger influence. Dang, that's a lot of people. Dang. Having a larger reach and influence because I'm here to imp influence and, and inspire people. But I can't do that, you know, if, you know, I, if the work doesn't get done and the work has to get done. No! I did not mean to do that. Anyways. Right, Delta. Can't forget God. That's very true. I'm not even going to get into it. But I, I could. I would not be here. No, like, y'all... No, y'all don't hear me. I would not be here. No, 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 no. That's too, that's too, ser that's too serious for a stream, tax. That's too serious. You know what? I don't care. I would not be here if it was not for the grace of God, but for, like... This is, this is like an origin story, like legit. Check this out. You know what, hopefully this is not too, not too heavy for the stream. But, um, my mom, the doctors told my mom and my dad, like when, before I, before any, me or my siblings were here. I have my older sister and my younger sister, before we were here. The doctor told my mom and dad that they were not able to have children. Like, they was like, yeah, you should look for other options. Like, it's, it's really not going to happen. I'm very sorry for your... Because I know you want to, you know... I know you want to have a, chill, a child, but yeah, it's not going to happen. So look for other options. And, you know, my mom and dad, they were praying. They're like, God, come on, let's do this thing. Fast forward. My mom has three kids. My older sister, who just graduated from Yale and just got married to Cosby. Boom. I'm over here chilling, doing my thing. Thinking about talking to literally b -b -b billions of people within the next 10 years or so, impacting billions of people. And my younger sister, she has her job right now, but she's out here um, rocking it right now. She theoretically might be a manager. I don't even know. I don't even know what God has for her. But yeah, we're doing our thing. But also, so that's one thing that God has come through for me on. I'm very, I'm getting very personal here right now because I'm kind of emotional right now. By the way, this stream isn't going to be too long because I'm going to go hang out with my girlfriend today. Um, but I just want to, but since I'm taking this full time, right? Since I'm screaming full time, I just might as well get some more content out. But, um, but that's that. 
as another thing as i was being born i had a medical condition called being uh, called a myconium staining long story short there was this goop type thing that covered my lungs and i was not able to breathe on my own and the doctors said this to me mind you he said this to me and also my older sister both of us we both had a myconium staining and the doctor said no, oh, this is the worst case of myconium staining I've ever seen in my entire life. These are two different doctors within three years of their time at two completely different hospitals. Ironically, Joni's was the worst that he's ever seen, and mine was the worst that he's ever seen. As like a common ground between both the doctors, not, not that they communicate or anything like that, they were completely two separate parts of the map. Um, they basically said, yeah, with myconium staining, you can expect that the child will not be able to talk you would expect that they might be able to make noises might be able to make noises and they're definitely gonna have asthma like that's just naturally what happens well every single word that comes out of my mouth is nothing but a testimony of what God has done for me in my life because I could have not been able to speak and I know this for a fact because one I love to talk and I love just to inspire people and just talk about different strategies and have a different mindset that a lot of people don't have and i want to help people in their lives and spread the gospel as well and the enemy knew that whatever my purpose was it was going to happen through speaking through my personality so two different things one he tried to take away my speech that didn't work thank you god i have no medical conditions at all no asthma no nothing thank you god that's that but also, my personality of me being, you know, really quirky and very ugly and stupid. I, when I was younger, I didn't like, like, my personality. Where I'm just like, oh, like, you know, giddy and, and laughy and whatever. I, I didn't like my laugh. I didn't like the way that I looked. I didn't like anything. And I'm sorry, this is kind of heavy. But, you know, it's three people. There's a couple people watching right now, so, you know, I don't, I don't mind sharing this deep stuff. Um, but, uh, I was like, dude, this is messed up. I wish I, I, I wanted to like change my personality or whatever right there. But fast forward to when I'm here. I love my personality. I love who I am. I love what I do. And I'm very, very excited to see where I'm going to be in the very near future after embracing who I am. So, yeah. Yes, God has been all up on my journey for the longest. And he's going to still be on my journey as we have 236 subscribers on YouTube. Fast forwarding to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So yeah. I'm happy. I'm, I'm in a very good mood today. I'm in a very, very good mood. No. Oh wait, we, oh yeah, we did lose. Anyways. No, but I'm basically gonna be playing until probably my, my super bonus until then. Because for some reason, anytime that I like actually